Hey, Jessica. Hi, come on in. You ready to do questions with CEI? I am excited to do questions with CEI. What do you teach here at CEI? Medical assisting. Nice. Mm -hmm. I heard your program is changing. What are those changes? It is. It's going from a two-year associate's degree to a one-year intermediate technical certificate, which means less prerequisites, and you can get the program quicker. Ooh. Where'd you get your education? I got my education here at CEI, but back then, it was Eastern Idaho Technical College. How do you spend your free time outside of work? Ooh, I like kayaking, outdoors, and of course, spending time with my family. What are you doing here? Um, this is our CBC, or our chemistry machine, and we would run uh, labs or blood on it. And as we move on down, we run UAs here in this office so we can practice. The students can get real life, real world practice. And all the way down here at the end, we have our nasal pharyngeal guy. So he helps us to uh, run tests like COVID. So any of you guys have had the COVID swab that goes all the way back. This is how my students would practice with him. And we'll go ahead and put some gloves on. I hated the COVID test. Yeah, the COVID test is not fun. So if any of you have had that, um, you know that it's uncomfortable. So we like to practice on our mannequin. You can just go ahead and send it all the way back. So it goes quite a bit in there. And you do a couple of three turns. Pull it out if you've done it right. You've got a blue tip. So, way to go me. <laughs> Why should cho students choose medical assisting? Because we're fun and diverse. We do a lot of different things in our office. So it's never just one um, field or one experience that you're getting. Aw, babies. Lots of babies. We work with, we have a pediatrics unit. So we work with infants all the way up to geriatrics in our elderly population. Ooh. Rom-coms or action movies? Action, of course. Check our autoclave here. Make sure we've got everything packaged up. Looks great. So we talk about sterilization, um, different ways to clean um, our equipment. So that's one of our machines. And we have our CBC machines here. This is our Olo, who is brand new and um, the only one in the state of Idaho. So he'll run your complete chemistry. And you can see that there is a blood count on there. Um, and these are run at your office pretty regularly for most labs. So why do you love medical assisting? Because we get to do a lot of different things. And I get to work with a lot of different people. So it's a lot of fun. Nice. What's your go-to music genre? Ooh, pop or dance music. <laughs> On average, how much do medical assistants make in the field? According to the Bureau of Statistics uh, in the state of Idaho, we are at about 1650 to 18 plus an hour, depending on the uh, field that you go into. He's look like he's having a rough day. Yeah, that's a double uh, hip replacement, so that guy's not having some, some fun at all. <laughs> Oof. What's one country you would love to visit? Brazil. Ooh, absolutely. Carn Carnival. Yeah. <laughs> What's in here? Um, this room is set up for an eye exam, color blindness in your regular eye exam. We also do ear and eye lavages. So if you got something in your eye, we can wash it out. Or if your ears are all plugged up, we can clean those out as well. Kids are notorious for sticking beans and beads and all sorts of stuff in their ears. So we help get those things out. Ooh. What are two words you would l use to describe medical assisting? Fun and diverse, for sure. <laughs> so what are these? This is our temperature, different temperature gauges that we use, our pulse ox, uh, oximeter to check your if you're breathing or how well you're breathing, a couple of gowns that we use. Um, our students get to learn everything and do everything hands-on, so lots of practice. And as we come in here, we're going into our phlebotomy room, so this is where we draw blood. And all of our students get hands-on experience, so they get to draw blood on family and friends and on each other. Ooh, count me out for that. <laughs> What's your favorite aspect of your job? Uh, that I get to work with a variety of people and I get to do a lot of different things. Mountains or beach? Mountains for sure. What's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Snow angels. Last question, what's something you would want your students to learn from you? 
I definitely want my students to be aware that when we're not feeling good and we're dealing with sick patients, sometimes we're a little short or a little snappy with each other. So I want them to be aware that there's a person back there and that they're probably not feeling so good. So to show them all the kindness and love that we can. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having us in to ask you some questions about medical assisting. No problem. Come again. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Bye.